people and welcome back to the most tragic and dreadful scene where my son has died at the age of 44 at poor health. My character Alaric the priest hater was too concerned about his own health and he wasn't able to see that his son's health was failing. He also changed the law immediately after he died to honor his son's memory to put Beric on the throne, put Beric on the Lordship of Blackhaven, and not the second son. It won't be Gavilkind. That's alright. He doesn't seem to mind. He is ambitious. So he might have been mad from that, yes. Let's see. No, he loves pre- Okay, he likes primogenitor succession. Okay. He likes it, yeah. He knows that he is the second in line, so hopefully he doesn't try anything funny with Beric. So we'll continue it here. Poor Alaric, his poor son has just died. He's had a tragic life. His second son was wounded. His and now his and his third son was stillborn. Richard and Royce. Royce is coming out well. I mean, oh, he needs he needs a tutor, doesn't he? I can have Boros teach him. There. And for my daughter. What is she being trained in? Money, right? Yeah, money. She is a genius, I believe. It'll be me. I'll, I'll, I'll educate her. So, hopefully. I don't know. Maybe we can get Potting Field before the end is done. Before Alaric sees his end. That would be good. Or at least, I, I hope Alaric at least gets to see his son, his children reach adulthood. Uh, and the second daughter of Donald has just come to 15. She's became a craven and a glutton. Those aren't things you want. I could marry her to the Martell, Bedwick of Dorne. My friend's, my friend's brother, which I might. He is the, like, third son. I am to be punished by Lord Paramount Warriors for being unfaithful to my wife. I'm being sent to the dungeon. What? I haven't been unfaithful to my wife. Ah, uh, that's probably just an, uh, that event. So who should I marry her off to? Bedwick? Perhaps. Actually, I think it will. It will make House Martell like me more, and we can solidify our friendship. Look, our hatreds are gone. It's awesome. We no longer hate the Martells. We no longer hate the Dornish. So vicious rumors rumors about me with a lot of effort. Joffrey of Gilmont. He wants my job. I hate you. Come back. You. I'm gonna send insult to him. In short, I despise you, you vile clown, and your cruel brute ways repulse me. <laughs> Good. You deserve it. Ah, she is married now. Excellent. Should I host? I, I don't have any money to host a wedding feast. Arbitrary. I don't like that. He's ruthless. Oh, like that. Boros can become my master of arms. Should I knight him? I could. Oh no, he's already knighted. I can force him to train. 54% that it'll succeed? Okay. I made him a better man. He gains one marshal and increases his skilled fighter. Nice. Very nice. I can do the same with... Oh, I can't do the same with him yet. I'll force to train him soon. I don't think I can force train him if he's shy, but... The rumors are over there are plots to kill Boros. No! I, I, I'm pretty sure that these are just because I'm paranoid. 
He's a paranoid, cynical man. So. Raiders have come. Ah, he has been granted Dragonstone. Let's see what he turns out to be. Prince Lord Jaycar. Prince Jaycar. A mastermind scholar. He's recognized as the top of the scholars of the realm. So he's a smart. He's a smart man. He is strong. He has Krabs Pincer. He's not trained in combat at all. He's a dragon rider. And he has a 10 year old wife. Interesting. And she became a commander. His daughter, his first daughter, his firstborn. And she. Did she marry someone? Did she marry one of mine? No, of course not. And the attractive brawny woman has just come of age. I don't know what Aegon was thinking. He must have. I don't know why he married this lurch girl. I have no idea why they did that. No idea. He should have married her. Or her. I would have married him off to her. It's very interesting. Ah, there's Lord Florian. The summer god man. Who married Myria of Dorne. The last born. Uh, I don't like that he's Summer Islands. But Gorgon is freaking awesome. He's being tutored by one of the Targaryen girls. How's Rainey's doing? He's doing fine. Corlys. There's Corlys. There's the one I was talking about. This is the... It was, he was the first of the Kingsguard. Now the White Book. Uh, my twins. My twins need education. Uh, okay. I'll make him Marshal. Timid and Idolizers. He has Willful. And Rowdy. So he's good. So I'll give him... Alright, 32 gold. My genius. 20 gold. She needs to get stewardship. Indolent and haughty. Will be. Aww. She is playful. Rowdy and affectionate. Alright, there, I'll train her for entry. There. Hmm. Well, he is. He does have her as his guardian. So he might train her well. Who knows? Maybe she'll end up being a good queen. Ah, uh, my great granddaughter Daya is stillborn. Sad. Sad day. First her father, now her. her. son. Oh well. The attractive girl. She still has chest pains. I don't like that. I really don't like that. I love the songs of Yuletide. It's really awesome. So no one's really died, except for the Martells. They've died. Two of their people have died. Only one have died. He's, he was died by this man. He killed the, uh... He killed him in personal combat. Ooh, oh yes, the, the Kingsguard. Who is a member of the Kingsguard now? We have Sir Harbour Graves. Cool, cool. His, his brother was killed in the jail, so he's a skilled fighter. Who is just a little bit sick. He's brave. Very good. Morgan Hightower. Really awesome, this celibate, zealous Kingsguard. Really good member of the Kingsguard. Good choice. Mathis the Pike. Hmm. He's cruel. And he's brave, and he's sent to protect the prince. Very interesting. The Pike. That's cool. Gregor Good. He's with the Kingsguard. Garth Lannister, the Lord Paramount's brother, is part of the Kingsguard. He's a trained fighter. And we're uh, not really good fighters in the Kingsguard, except for the Goods. Skilled fighter. Good. And Griffith Good. He finally joined the Kingsguard. Awesome. 
and there are the there are the goods out and about, hanging out. Oh, he's he's become disfigured. Whoa, Edmure was hanged by the Tyrells. There's his heir. Oh, he has winter fever. Uh oh, that's not good. But he had successful treatment. Okay, now there are people trying to kill me. All paranoia. This man's crazy. The reach keeps having civil wars. To increase council power. Such a shame. Oh, I need new. Uh, oh no, do I? Why do I need new just a car? Oh, it's because he got pneumonia. So he had the fall back. All right, I'll fabricate a claim here again. Hmm. Oh my, look at the disease, it's spreading. Winter fever and the pox. That's not good, don't spread over here. I could become gregarious, but I am cynical and paranoid. So I believe since I am cynical and paranoid, these hedge knights coming to visit? No, they must be assassins. Refuse them access. Who are you? What do you want? You want... Oh, the married, the betrothal. Yes. Alright, there we go. Now everyone is married. Marry it off. I always like marrying my daughters uh, matrilineally. Good families, and they're not too... And they're, they're well. They're well off. I'm not going to destroy the entire line with that. She still has chest pains. I'm going to send her to my... Uh, my guy when she oh I can force to train my son now I'll educate you with me yeah his diplomacy so I will can I force to train him he's younger than 20 ah uh, darn he just reached 20 oh well But him, I can force to train him. No, that's too much of a risk. I don't want to kill him. My son, my grandson, wants to become spy master. In that plot, he's rather ambitious. I do have a six spy master though, but he, he was he was my friend. He was the one who got scarred with your with my uh, brother or with my son. I'll just assign them random stuff. Ooh, Rainy's Targaryen died of gout. That's not how she originally died. Uh oh. King Aegon the Conqueror has inherited the lordship of Lorath. He was hanged on Lord Ordero Boko the Axe. Whoa. This guy. This guy hanged her. Wow. Now we took Lorath. Hmm. She had cancer. She was gonna die anyway, but... Hung. Jeez. He's getting good training. Now my... My heir can marry off, which I will. Marry them off. And I will have them have a... Oh, Royce, he has the flu, no! I pray that he will recover. Yes, it is everyone's concern. Okay. Now, can I send her to the thing? Ah, Reynard Hightower is gregarious. Mr. Medwick has completely botched the treatment of my son. Royce is now even worse off than before, uh, barely clinging to life. I am excited to punish Medwick for this. Alright. Into the- Should I send him to the dungeon? Yeah, I'll send him to the dungeon. How dare you. You'll have a trial now. 
and I need to hire a new maester. And on this note, I'll end the episode here. Let's see what the trial will entail. <laughs>